Hey, what up, you guys? Thought I'd take a second to tell the story behind uh, my collaborations with David Adam. So if you don't know who David Adam is, he's not a sellout. Uh, he's an interesting character that is a friend of the LGBT and uh, very spiritual. And the thing about him is that he's made a lot of cool sounds of different kinds, very creative. He is diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder and he's on disability. Uh, so he doesn't work jobs like I do. And he does make a lot of music. He likes to go into the country, the beautiful Oregon countryside. He lives in a small town. See my dog over there. <laughs> in Oregon. And he lives with some old people that are very religious. So that sounds kind of like me, right? And uh, he's a guy with a good vibe. And I worked on him with this song, Foothills. It was an old track of his. And I was listening to some of his old stuff. I said, let's see if we can work with that. So we came up with a lo-fi track called Foothills. And my ex, Brianna, did some vocals on it. She has a nice voice for harmonies and I wrote some lyrics of course and tracked it on uh, a laptop just uh, in a formal kind of thing there was no studio or anything and that's the story behind Foothills there that was how the track was made but David Adam is the producer that was behind the song Keep Learning you know where I tracked the vocals there and he was involved with Walk Straight that wasn't meant to be a statement about being gay or straight it's just more to walking the straight and narrow path and whose idea is it of what's straight and narrow, right? That's the idea there. So I'm my own man and I'm not trying to change for you. And that's all there is to it. So that's David Adam. He's got an emo flavoring and a lot of cool, interesting music. Might want to check him out. And I may be doing more songs with him in the future. You know, we've already done X number of things together. And he's a good vibe. So yeah, that's David Adam. <laughs>